Blizzard Aiden is causing quite the headache for folks in northeast Wisconsin. Emily Deem has been battling the high winds and snow this morning. And uh, how you doing out there in Little Shoot, Emily? Hey, Ange, I'm good. I know you said you didn't want to venture out. You're thankful you're inside. Why? Hey, it's nice out. I am totally kidding. I am thankful my back is to the wind because these winds are high and the snow is coming down pretty heavy. I was traveling down 41 South, cutting he coming here to Little Shoot. That's where we're at this morning. And let me tell you, it was dangerous road conditions coming down. The winds were high. Snow drifts were in the way. And a great way to put it too, pure ice on the highway. It's a slick one out there. So please, if you can, do not travel this morning. But some people do have to get out and about. We're out here at the Shell gas station. People have to come out and get gas for those snowblowers. We talked to Dan Lauer. He's from Little Shoot. Shoot. He had to come out this morning to get gas for his snowblower. He said he's thankful that he has four-wheel drive, but advises nobody to go out and travel. The main roads are pretty good, but the side side roads are terrible. They got they got drifts up up about three feet in some spots, and you just you can't get through unless you have four-wheel drive. And that's what you're going to hear. The road conditions are terrible. Well, we are out here with the Wisconsin State Patrol. Les joins me now. Les, tell us, give us an update on the road conditions right now. Road conditions are terrible at best. They're um, slippery, snow covered. Um, some roads are totally impassable. If someone does venture out today, what is the best safety precaution you can tell them? Uh, slow down, take your time, make sure all your equipment on your vehicle is going. Your lights are on, you've got uh, emergency blankets, uh, food, that kind of thing in your vehicle. Your cell phone, you got your cell phone, and make sure the cell phone's charged in case something were to happen while you're out on the road. If you were to be stranded on the side of the road, what is the best safety precaution to take? Stay inside? Stay inside your vehicle, um, contact law enforcement. We'll get somebody out there as soon as we can, but your best bet is to stay in the vehicle. Um, run it intermittently, make sure that the exhaust... Um, pipes are clear so that the carbon monoxide doesn't build up in your vehicle. And if someone were to contact someone, um, if they were uh, stranded, who would they contact? Uh, contact law enforcement. Contact your uh, um, dispatch center, your 911 dispatch center. Um, they'll get in touch with the um, officers that are on the road and um, may also be able to help you make arrangements for uh, tow trucks if you're stranded in the middle of a road. Now, Les, we tell people don't travel, don't travel, but there are some people who need to travel. You're going to be out there. How do you stay safe? I take my time. There's no place that I need to get in a big hurry. Um, even if there's an emergency, um, I got to take my time getting there because if I don't get there, it doesn't do me any good. It doesn't help anybody else get there. Um, we've got uh, vehicles out here. We got our four wheel drive um, vehicles um, rather than our normal state patrol cruisers um, to help us out today. So the main thing for everyone, stay safe and at all possible, stay home. If you can stay home, stay home. It's way too cold, way too windy. Roads are just treacherous. If you can stay home, please, please, you can't be getting up to stay home. Okay, Les, thank you for your time this morning. Yeah, someone posted on my Facebook that two tow trucks were stuck. So if that doesn't tell you these road conditions are treacherous, I don't know what does. So we'll send it back to you. All right, Emily Dean, live in Little Shoot. Thank you.